Hello very charming vloggers, today is September 7th, 2011 and welcome to Wednesday. My name is Lauren, as I'm sure you all know very well already. However, seeing as this week we're doing our reintroductory re vlogs, I felt the need to let you know that anyway, just in case. So with our reintroductory vlogs, we are saying goodbye to Ian, which we've already said, I suppose, but I haven't said it yet. So I wish you all the best, Ian, along with the rest of us in this coming year, and I hope that you achieve the results that you're looking for, hopefully we will keep in touch and Connor welcome to the channel it's good to have a new friendly face around um, all this is of course already been said but I just felt the need to jump onto the bandwagon and say it myself as well if my thoughts seem a little bit more coherent than they usually are that's because today's video has in fact been scripted as I have quite a lot to say and not nearly enough time to say it all so anyway getting on with it here are my answers to the questions that we have. So first we have a favorite color. I've always liked purple. Um, since I was little my cousin told me that her favorite color was purple and I was like we're supposed to have favorite colors and I just went with that one. Recently however I've really been taking a liking to red so I'm gonna go with red because that's my current favorite color. Next we have pizza toppings. I really really love cheese. I mean pepperoni is good and peppers are good but cheese pizza is my favorite kind of pizza. It's kind of boring, but that's all right. My Hogwarts house, while I'm pretty sure that I'm in Ravenclaw, I still have not taken the official sorting test on Pottermore. I actually was finally let into the website last night, but it was the night before school started, so I was reading through with the book and I got to maybe chapter five or six and then I just, I had to leave it for the night and so I'm going to be getting to that soon, but I believe I believe I'm a Ravenclaw. My favorite book character is probably Charlie from The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I was thinking about all of the different books that I really have enjoyed and many of them I haven't read in a very long time, but Charlie is such a beautiful soul in the things that he says and the way that he approaches life. It's, it's a gorgeous book and it is quite sad at times, but other times it made me laugh and he's just so sweet, for instance. Um, quick example of the kinds of things that he does, how most people give each other gifts at Christmas and for their birthdays, and he gives, um, his girlfriend at some point gives him this book, and, you know, it's a book that she picked up at the store, she's like, this is my favorite book, and she gives him his own copy, but what he does is he gives people his own copies of books, because he believes that it means so much more, and he creates mixtapes for people, and he means every word that he says, and he's a beautiful person, he's a beautiful human being, even if he is a work of fiction. Our fifth question is regarding the longest that we've ever gone on less than five hours of sleep. So this is the part that I particularly needed scripted, so I'm going to be basically reading what I wrote. Um, I'm not really sure about this one, but here it goes. I'm pretty sure that it was the, uh, a long weekend with the Monday off, and I didn't get much sleep the Sunday night, only four or five hours, because I was working on a scrapbook for English class on Macbeth. I worked most of the day on Monday and then I didn't get any sleep at all that night because I was I was up all night working on it. I probably have it somewhere in my room. If I can find it, I'll edit that in. But anyway, I went to school really, really tired. Although as the day progressed, I didn't feel it quite as much, but I handed it in the scrapbook anyway. Throughout the day as well, most people were saying, oh, when I get home, I'm going to sleep because they had been in similar situations where they had pulled all-nighters or only gotten one or two hours of sleep. I, however, had band rehearsal, like concert band rehearsal, until four, and then I went straight to Macbeth rehearsal, which went till five, and then I went straight to work, which I had until 7.45, and then I was starting to not feel well. I went straight home, um, but I didn't end up sleeping till nine. I did not go to school for the next day or two because I felt horrible. But yeah, I managed to get myself very sick when I pull all-nighters. It didn't used to happen, but lately it's just not been good. And our final question is, what do we want to be when we grow up? Or I suppose, as I'm addressing myself right now, what do I want to be when I grow up? So I want to make music. Um, I'd either like to be a musician or a producer. I've, I write my own stuff, which I probably won't play for you ever. But um, I really enjoy producing it and putting it together. At some point I went to a course at University of Guelph and it was an actual producing thing and it was... I just enjoyed it so much and I love music. 
I've found everybody's responses to the questions interesting so far and I look forward to seeing everyone else's. Anyway, I hope that everyone has a wonderful week and a wonderful month. Wonderful all the time that oh, you can tell it's not scripted anymore. Anyway, I look forward to seeing everybody on their respective days. DFTBA.